Hi, this is Business with Dave. In this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can price your menu items accordingly and to make sure you'll be making a decent profit at the end of it as well. So yeah, carry on watching this video. So when you're deciding on pricing for your street food, restaurant or cafe business, you want to have a look at the wealth of the area and the pricing of your competitors. This is important because then you know who your target audiences and what they're willing to pay and also the area and what it is needed in order to succeed and what you could potentially charge those customers as well. So in general you should be hitting the 70% yield on the back of each product sold and that's ideal so don't be disheartened if you can't get 70% at the start. What your aim is is to try to work your way up to 70% yield and in order to work out that 70% is really simple. So in order to work out the yield, you wanna make sure you subtract one by 0 0.7, that will get you 0 0.3, and then from 0 0.3, so from your food costs, divided by 0 0.3 should equal to how much you should be charging. So for this example, I'm gonna be using two pounds uh, divided by 0 0.3, and that will should be equal to 6.67 so that should be your roughly what you want to try and aim for if you have your cost is at two pounds another example is as well if you do want to do 75 percent yield which is more ideal as well and that's what you want to try and aim for once you get past the 70 percent you want to do the two pounds uh, divided by 0 0.25 equals eight pounds which is really simple, really easy. And in order to hopefully get your costs down low as well, uh, lower than potentially two pounds in this example, you wanna make sure you control your food costs, your labor costs as well, and just make sure you can get the best deals out of your suppliers, so then you can be able to maximize your profit as well. And this will be key here, because if you can yield as much profit as you can from each potential sale, you'll be able to gain those profits that you could hopefully reinvest into the business, reinvest into new equipment and stuff like that, or just improve on existing services as well to your customers. Obviously, feel free to experiment with the prices as well. It doesn't have to be 70%, it could be 65, it could be 60, but you wanna make sure it's not below that because then it runs, you run the risk of potentially running out of money potentially overspending on raw ingredients where you should be overspending on or potentially have you too much ingredients and you're not using it and you're chucking that way. That's what you want to try and avoid. You want to reduce waste. You want to make sure you use and utilize all the ingredients you have in order to maximize every sale that you can make as well. Because in the food business, it, the margins are tight. It will be tight. You don't know where there could be a shortage of people, there could be less demand in a particular part of the year and stuff like that. So you wanna make sure you can maximize each sale, make sure you offer the best customer service and food, and make sure you build that customer loyalty. And obviously, do not forget to include your VAT as well, in particular, because with each sale, you will need to take away VAT if you go past a certain threshold. So do factor that in into your pricing. And in the link below, I'll be linking onto the website that will is a calculator that you can calculate your food costs, your VAT, and what you should be charging. In the link below, so do check it out as well. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. We'd love to see those numbers go up. Please, please, please. And then I'll have to carry on making these videos. So yeah, I've been Business with Dave. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.